Hello guys, welcome to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about the Euler's method, which is basically the method of finding the solution of the initial value problem. And guys, uh, here I will be first discussing about the formula, and then I will be solving an example based upon the Euler's method. So guys, I hope you are going to love this video. And without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, whenever we are solving the numerical based upon the Euler's method, we will be provided with a condition that uh, y times x naught equals to y naught and uh, derivative value dy by dx equals to some equations uh, which can be represented as fx and guys we will be provided with a interval h or we can say it as differences uh, which can be uh, any constant uh, in the form of decimals or even in the form of whole number 0 0.1 0 0.05 or 1 or 2 in this manner and if i discuss about the formula which we use in euler's method is x1 equals to x naught plus h similarly y1 equals to y naught plus h f x naught comma y naught similarly if we discuss about x2 then x2 will be equals to x naught sorry x1 plus h and y2 will be equals to y1 plus h f x 1 comma y 1 so guys now uh, these are the things or formula or concept which we will be using in Euler's method and now time to select a question and let us solve the question as per the Euler's method so guys the question is dy by dx equals to y minus x where y 0 equals to 2 find y 0 0.1 and y 0 0.2 by Euler's method up to two decimal place so let's write down here solution and we have dy upon dx equals to y minus x similarly y times 0 will be equals to 2 if I compare this value with y at times x naught equals to y naught then we will have here from this condition we have x naught equals to 0 and y naught equals to 2 and guys we are asked to find the value of y 0 0.1 and y 0 0.2 and if I take h equals to 0 0.1 then in second step then when h is multi uh, added with x1 then it will get automatically x0.2 let us see the application then it will be more clear and let us assume let h equals to 0.1 i have assumed it so that uh, it will turn into x1 and x2 respectively let us see how it is done we have a formula for finding the value of x1 and we have x1 equals to x naught plus h x naught plus h so guys we have the value of x naught equals to 0 so write it 0 plus and i have assumed that h equals to 0 0.1 so write it here and we have x1 equals to 0 0.1 now time to calculate y1 so use the formula y1 equals to y naught plus h f x naught comma y naught give the value here we have y naught equals to 2 so 2 plus and h is 0 0.1 times f x naught comma y naught 
and we have the value of x naught comma y naught as zero comma two. Now solve this two times sorry two plus zero point one times f zero comma two, and we have the value of f x equals to f x equals to y minus x. Here f x equals to uh, y minus x. So y minus x and the value of y is two minus zero will be equals to two. What we did, we put the value of x and y in the given value of f x. dy by dx represents f x. So y minus x means two minus zero. So two minus zero means two, and multiply this and add. Then from here we will get two point two. So guys, uh, this is what the value uh, y zero point one means. As we are asked to find the value of y zero point one, so y zero point one equals to two point two. Now we need to calculate the value of y zero point two means x equals to zero point two. Then how we will get x zero point two? We have the again formula, again x two equals to x one plus h, and we have the value of x one equals to zero point one. So zero point one plus h is we have considered that h equals to zero point one. So we get x two equals to zero point two, x two equals to zero point two. Now let us calculate y two. So y two will be equals to y one plus h f x one comma y one as I have mentioned shown you here in this formula. So simply put down the value of y one and the value of y one is two point two plus h is zero point one. F x one comma y one and our x one is zero point one comma y one is two point two. So solve this to get the value of y two. Again, what we need to do is we need to put the value of x and y in the equation y minus x. So two point two minus zero point one, two point two minus zero point one will be equals to two point one. So two point two plus zero point one times solving this f x we got two point one. What we did we put the value of x and y in the equation uh, f x y minus x. So two point two minus zero point one we get zero point uh, sorry two point one and two point one is multiplied with this zero point one here and it is added to two point two. So two point one. Times zero point one plus two point two. From here we get two point four one. And guys, uh, this was our final step uh, for calculating the value of uh, y zero point two. I hope you like this video and see you in the next video. I will be adding one more example on Euler's method. to intensify your uh, understanding and about this method and later uh, more videos on uh, modified euler's method and uh, uh, ranga kutta fourth order are on the way see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself